Hi, Charlie here. Evolution and nature has given animals a lot of body parts to help them survive. From horns that allow them to battle off their enemies, to shells they can hide in, and even stingers to help them survive in nature. But it turns out that many animals got very unlucky when it comes to nature. Their bodies have some serious design flaws, and these can even end the animals' lives. Babarusa Babarusas are very similar to pigs, but they have a few major differences. For one, they're slightly taller and their skin is more tough, but the most obvious difference is their horns. They not only have two lower horns like many animals do, but they also have two upper horns as well. You may think these four fangs are great. After all, they allow Babarusas to battle off their enemies. And that is true, they can be useful. The only downside is, these horns never stop growing. Yep, a major design flaw of these horns is that they keep growing throughout a Babarusa's life. Because these horns curve upwards, they can sometimes grow into the animal's head. It would be like your teeth growing upwards and entering your brain. Of course, this can eventually take the Babarusa's life. Its horns can literally grow into its skull, and when it enters its brain, then the animal can pass away. These are also badly designed because they block Babarusa's view. But thankfully, nature did cut these animals a break. Luckily, their horns are very fragile. In most cases, having fragile horns would be a bad thing. But in this case, it means that Babarusa's horns sometimes break before entering their brains. If Babarusas are in the wild, they have to hope they get lucky and their horns break off. This can sometimes happen during fights, and if they're in captivity then humans will need to remove these horns on a regular basis. Either way, I think it's safe to say this animal got the middle finger from evolution. Turtle Turtles and tortoises are often called indestructible animals. They are known to live for over 100 years, and they are protected by their shells. Their shells are incredibly strong. Seriously, if the army could use these on tactical gear, then they would. But it turns out that nature gave turtles a major design flaw, one that often ends their lives. That is that if a turtle rolls onto its back, it can't roll back over. If you're a turtle and this happens, you'd better pray that you have a rounded shell. Because if you don't, then there's a good chance you will never roll back over. If a turtle gets stuck on its back, there are various ways its life can end. The most common is from the sun. The turtle is not shaded by its shell at all, and it also can't move anywhere to get water. So it basically gets slow cooked by the sun. That is brutal. If the turtle is not in a sunny place, it can simply starve. Because it can't move anywhere or eat, it basically starves and passes away. And another very common way they pass away when flipped over is due to predators. They are totally helpless and can't defend themselves. They can't even seek shelter inside their shells. So for any predators, it's basically open season. Reindeer Reindeer antlers are very sharp and very large. Combined with the body strength of a reindeer, they can be fierce weapons. But reindeer's antlers often cause them to lose their own lives. You see, reindeer often spar each other. It's very normal for males to battle over females. Kind of similar to humans. But when reindeers fight, normally only one of them walks away alive. However, during some of these fights, the antlers can get intertwined. This means the reindeer can't move properly. They also can't eat or drink and eventually pass away. If this happens near water, the reindeer can sometimes fall in and get frozen. Sometimes people come across reindeer who have become intertwined. They end up freeing them by cutting their antlers. This is painless and can save the reindeer's lives. Argali. Argolies are also known as mountain sheep. They're mainly found in Central and Eastern Asia. Argolies are the largest type of rams in the world, and they're famous for their very bulky horns. Their horns are great for battling rivals, but they come with a major design flaw. They are in a very unique corkscrew shape, and they keep growing throughout their lives. 
This means their horns can sometimes grow back into their bodies. This happens a lot to older Argolies. When this happens, it can be very slow and very painful, and this can lead to the Argolies passing away. Before we move on, why not subscribe and press the bell too? It really does help me out. Sloth Sloths are known for not doing very much. They spend most of their time in trees relaxing, and it's no secret that nature has given sloths some major design flaws. For one, they move incredibly slowly. When they're in danger, they can run at a maximum speed of 0.16 miles per hour, which means that any other animal will easily catch them. Sloths also sleep for about 20 hours per day, and they're very friendly too. But their slowness, sleepiness, and friendliness often costs them their lives. All of their predators, which are pretty much every animal, can see that the sloth isn't going anywhere fast. This makes them easy pickings for things like mammals and even birds too. Horses and donkeys Horses and donkeys are on their feet almost all day and that's why they need very strong hooves. But one design flaw with horses and donkeys is that their hooves keep growing. They need them cut at regular intervals. If they're on a farm, this will happen, but if they're in the wild, then it won't. If their hooves aren't cut, then the animal won't be able to walk straight. This can be very painful to the animal. Uncut hooves often cause horses and donkeys that live in the mountains to fall. Sheep. This is one animal design flaw that can't be blamed on nature. Instead, it's our fault. Over the years, humans have bred sheep to make sure that they're very fluffy. The thicker a sheep's coat is, the more wool can be harvested from them. Sometimes, sheep's wool is not cut in time, and when that happens, things can go really bad really fast. Long wool can lead to heat stroke of the animal and cause them to pass away. Also, if a sheep's wool gets too thick, parasites can build up inside it. This causes a lot of itching, which is why sheep often rub up against trees and fences. This can sometimes cause damage to a sheep's skin. This can then cause infections and the sheep could pass away. We all like having wool products, but is it really worth it if the sheep have to live like this? Bees Nobody likes getting stung by bees. But do you know who dislikes bee stings more than anyone? Bees. When a bee stings you, the stinger is not removed from the bee. Instead, the bee pulls its body off the stinger by force. This ruptures the bee's abdomen, causing it to pass away. The white part of a bee sting is not part of the stinger. Instead, it's the bee's muscles, nerves, and part of its digestive tract too. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Leave a comment down below telling me which animal you think got the worst deal from nature. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos you will love on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.